Microsoft just announced a new laptop and a bunch of new accessories. If you have been holding off buying a laptop because you said, I want a Surface Laptop 4, well, then today's a really good day because Microsoft has officially pulled back the curtains on the Surface Laptop 4 and a bunch of accessories. So let's not hold back any longer. Let's roll the B-roll and just dive on into what Microsoft has announced today because honestly, there's quite a bit. So first up is the Surface Laptop 4. Now you will have two choices of chips, no surprise here, Intel 11th Gen chips, or you can choose the AMD Ryzen Mobile Processors with Radeon Graphics Microsoft Surface Edition. Yeah, that is the real name of the chip that is coming from AMD. It's a mouthful. It is also, unfortunately, the 4000 series. I know many people were hoping it would be the 5000, but Microsoft tradition, at least as we've been seeing of late, is to go with the slightly older generation. But compared to the 3000 series chips in the previous generation, jumping to 4000 should be a pretty big jump in the performance department. Now, talking about new things, there's not a ton new, but there definitely are some new things. So uh, there's a new color called ice blue that is, as you can imagine, sort of bluish. You can also now get up to 32 gigs of RAM and Microsoft is promising a 19 hour battery life. Now, I don't have one yet. I will actually have one of these devices at my house later today. So keep it locked to the channel and subscribe and all that good stuff because I'll be doing first impressions and all that stuff. But 19 hours of battery life, that's a big claim. Now, having reviewed a lot of Surface hardware in front of me uh, when, at the beginning of this video was a Surface Book 3. I would peg the the actual like real life usage based on my you know very scientific calculator of about cutting it a half um, of about 10 hours is probably real world performance. Again, take that with a grain of salt. That's me shooting from the hip, just using using previous Surface um, specs uh, for for that analysis. So, but then, but again, up to 32 gigs of RAM, 19 hours of battery life. It has the same ports, exact same actually. It, it's pretty much completely the same except for the chips uh, and the RAM and that ice blue color which also means you have USB type A and type C, uh, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, no Thunderbolt 4. It does keep the same Surface Connect port and charger and accessories will all work. Now, a lot of mixed feelings on that. And part of me wants Microsoft to just say, hey, we're going all in on the Thunderbolt 4. That is it. But I suspect that may not happen until USB 4. And then on the other side, it's like, hey, I've got a bunch of Surface chargers already. So using it uh, with the device isn't that big of a deal, especially in the enterprise world and the corporate world where they have potentially hundreds of these things and docks and dongles and everything else. Um, keeping the same port isn't so big of a deal. So, uh, you know, I'm not losing my mind that there's not Thunderbolt 4. It'd be nice, but it, here we are. Um, speaking of pricing, so here's where things get a little bit more interesting. With the last generation, if you wanted an AMD chipset, you had to use the consumer version. And pretty much if you wanted Intel, you got to go to the corporate uh, or the business channel. Now it's completely mix and match. You can get a Ryzen 5 or Ryzen 7 chip on the 13.5 inch or 15 inch, or you can get the Intel chips uh, on both consumer and on uh, corporate or business channels. So it's gonna the laptop is going to start for the 13.5 inch at 9 and that'll get you a Ryzen 5, 256 gigs of storage, eight gigs of RAM. For a thousand bucks, that's that's not so bad. Like, I don't think that's too big of a, I think that's a pretty fair price. It may be a little on the higher end since it's a 4,000 series chip, but overall, not complaining about that price. Um, if you want an Intel iteration of the Surface Laptop 4, you will get an i5 with eight gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of storage, but that'll set you back 1299. Now, jumping up to the 15 inch, you will get an R7 uh, with eight gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage for 1299, which I actually think that's a pretty pretty good price. And then Intel i7, 16 gigs of RAM at 512 gigs of storage for 1799. The only conceding point on that R7 uh, at 1299 is the eight gigs of RAM. Uh, 16 gigs would have been really nice, but you're not going to get everything you want uh, at the price. Now, there are tons of different SKUs and options in between there. Those are pretty much the starting point. You can spec this thing all the way out to uh, $24.99, and that'll get you an i7 with 32 gigs of RAM and a terabyte of storage. That is a, a pretty beastly uh, looking machine, and they are going to come with either Alcantara or Metal, just depending on the configuration. There's tons of different options. Their, their pricing is pretty much hitting every dollar point in between there um, on a $100 increment. Speaking of which, if you are looking 
looking at the business side of things, it's going to be at $100 more than the consumer line just as a general rule, uh, which is, I believe, going to help account for that additional Windows license that you will need. So um, pretty, pretty, yeah, it's not a big update at the end of the day. I mean, this is pretty much exactly what we had expected. I think Microsoft is playing it completely safe here. The Surface Laptop is like the vanilla of vanilla laptops, right? No, there's no flashy LEDs. There's no craziness to it. It's got Windows Hello. It's just a laptop. I mean, it is the NPC of laptops if you're if you're playing video games or something like that. It is fine though. Like honestly, when it comes to recommending a product to people, I know Surface Pro has a throng of fans, like a huge following of fans. And it's a great device for a specific segment and use case. But for most people, I think the Surface Laptop is just the device to get. And the Surface Laptop 4 is a really safe update. No big surprises. And so that'll start up being available uh, on April 15th, I believe. Now, here's the other thing, too. If you pre-order it from the Microsoft Store or Best Buy, Microsoft is going to throw in a pair of Surface earbuds. Not, not the headphones, but the ones that go in your ear for free if you pre-order it uh, starting pretty much today. So keep your eyes and ears and open for that, because if you're thinking about it, that might just push you over the edge. So just keep that in mind. Other things that were announced, Surface Headphones 2. If you've been following me on the Twitters, you know I talked about a dongle a while ago. Well, here's, here's what I was talking about. So Microsoft is already selling the Surface Headphones 2, but now they have a new dongle that is gonna make the Surface Headphones 2 Plus, which is what they're announcing today, team certified. So they're pretty much the exact same Surface Headphones that you use, except there's a new dongle that pretty much gets away from the Bluetooth uh, trash issue because there's, Bluetooth is just not great and Microsoft won't certify things over that protocol, at least not without using dongles. And so they're announcing the Surface Headphones 2 Plus. Dongles only available to biz and education. These headphones will cost you $299 and be available later this month. Now, also people following along this channel will know that I talked about Microsoft releasing a new webcam. And well, folks, here it is. This is the new modern webcam. It is 1080p HDR, has a shutter, indicator lights, $69.99 and arriving in June. Nothing too crazy here. It surprisingly doesn't feature Windows Hello, but it is team certified. I suspect that Microsoft was looking for a low cost of entry, getting it team certified to help you know build on the attach rate of Teams because Teams has been extremely popular in the enterprise world and this kind of fits that narrative. Now, if you don't want to buy your teammates a Surface Headphones 2 Plus because, well, they're, they're, they can be expensive if you're buying a whole bunch, Microsoft has two new headsets, the modern wired and wireless headsets. These will cost you 50 bucks for the wired headset and 100 bucks for the wireless. And these are, again, team certified headsets. Nothing too crazy here, but Microsoft is making them available. I suspect that these might be quite popular for companies trying to outfit just a ton of employees with headsets for Teams usage. And so this fits that bill. More interestingly, or at least it just looked kind of neat, is the new modern USB speaker. Again, this is a team certified speaker that can sit on your desk, has two microphones, um, indicator lights, is arriving in June, and just looks kind of neat. I don't know, it'll cost you a hundred bucks. I'm hoping to get my hands on some of these peripherals to put them through the test uh, because, you know, Teams is growing up. Like it, it's got, you know, over a hundred million daily active users. Microsoft hasn't given us a, a recent figure. The last known number was 100. 15 million daily users and so now they're they're trying to move from okay it's a huge software success to start selling hardware that links into that stuff and now it's all team certified and so that's just a big day for microsoft so we got the surface laptop 4 coming uh, available fully announced now we got a whole bunch of teams hardware and that is now coming online we've got updated surface headphones and surface headphones 2 plus it's been a morning for microsoft announcing all this stuff and like i said i have a surface laptop 4 coming uh, my way so be on the lookout on this channel for a lot more about that I will do a full review but just it's going to take some time uh, maybe we'll do some unboxing and some other fun stuff here which means you need to keep it subscribed because the only BS on this channel is me